Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SCAR accounting system tutorial, I'll talk about maintain document number. Let's go to SQL Tools Maintain Document Number. Over here, you can see a list of all the documents available inside SQL accounting system. And you can change the format of individual document number. If you are using multi-document number module, meaning that you can actually create few set of running number for the same document. Example, over here, you can see that for invoice, you can have one, two, or even three different set of running number. So this is applicable when you're doing a transactions, let's say sales invoice, new, you can select which set of running number you want to use. Now, let's go in and change the document running number over here. Let's go to edit or even you can create a new set. Example, for this running number, it actually have a prefix of 10, then followed by five digit running number, which looks something like this. But if you do not want this and you want it to call another name, maybe this is called syntax invoice and the format you want it to be INB dash five digit, then you can see that it changed. So let's go a step deeper. If you want to set the document number will automatically make use of the date. Normally, many people would like this a slash, then a open curly bracket, alias y y y y. Close it. Sorry, the y should be in capital. So you can see that. The system will actually have invoice slash and the years. And if you only want to two, put two Y, meaning that it's only one A. Or you want to put the months as well, let's say M, M, M. So it will be the months in wording if two M means the months in numbers. So I would like to put something like this. Then dash percentage dot is a formula that allows the document number to automatically run. 5D stands for 5 digit. Let's say you don't want 5, you want to 4 digit. So now you can see that it's 4 digit running number. And you may also reset every month or reset every year. Then what you need to do is one more step is over here next number okay let's say save it then we go to sales invoice new let's create an invoice and this time we select syntax invoice running set okay so you just leave it the invoice number as new the next number will automatically using this one, so you save it. Sorry, because of SST already processed. Open the SST. Need to delete SST first. Sorry. When you try to save it, so the system will use the next running number. Now, many people sometimes will face this issue. Okay. When they key a uh, invoice, maybe they have mistakenly manually go and key in the invoice number. Slash OCT one eight OCT one eight dash 
0007. That accidentally key the invoice number manually. So when they want to do it or some other colleague try to do a new invoice, and try to save, this error message will come up. This error message means that you are trying to duplicate a invoice number meaning that this invoice number have been used so what we need to do is close all this thing go back to tools maintain document number look for the format edit and change the next running number then everything will back to normal As you can see, the next number now is at 8, no longer at 7 because we have set it and we will try to create a new invoice, no problem. So the next one become 9. So the running sequence will back to normal. So basically this is how you maintain document number in SQL accounting system. Once again, thank you for watching and I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies.